Trinimac knows that deep down, we're all orcs at heart. Then listen well, and I'll tell you about the greatness of Trinimac. His eyes see far and wide, and tremendous is his power. Everyone craves the truth of Trinimac, no matter their race or creed. Trinimac is a warrior god who stands for unity and civilization. Before Malakath was, Trinimac is. Who needs blood and fury when a true god grants us courage and lifts us on high? May Trinimac's light ignite the fire of your spirit. Your enemies will flee at the sight of his holy might.
quiet. If my kinsmen see us together, they will kill us both. I need your help. My tribe seeks the vengeful eye, a token of Malakath's favor. When we find it, we will march to the nearest stronghold and raise it to the ground. Then the next, and the next. I want you to find the vengeful eye and take it from this place. If it's never found, there is no vengeful march. My tribe returns to the Reach. The stronghold remains standing. We both win. My tribe reveres Malakath, but we are nothing to him. This fighting with Rothgar's orcs serves to amuse a Daedric prince. Nothing more. The Hag Ravens would know the moment I held it in my hands. Better if I never even saw the thing. Somewhere in these catacombs, likely among the grave goods, we've searched one wing thoroughly without success. I expect it will be found in the other.
you find the vengeful eye. Do you have it with you? Good. Don't show it to me. The Hag Ravens know things about those who serve them. I'm not... You know, I never expected to actually find it. I don't know what should happen next. A vengeful march across Rothgar. From here to the statue of Malakath. According to the Hag Ravens, its bearer will carry Malakath's blessing. With a champion of the Winterborn crowned by Malakath, we could then march on Orsinium. The orcs of this land want anything related to Malakath, so maybe they'd pay for it. I don't know. I've never been to Orsinium. I hear it's big. Although, giving it to them will make Orsinium a target for my tribe. Long ago, two orc brothers tried. They planned to melt it down in the forge near Malakath's great statue. But one heard whispers, slew his kin, and took the vengeful eye for himself. Not the best idea. My ancestor killed him and took it off his corpse. Mercedine, beast of the reach, daughter of Evandine, tusk collector, made general in the siege of old Orsinium for her abject ferocity. We're a pale shadow of what she was, thankfully. Don't think too long. Destroy the vengeful eye at Malakath's statue, or dedicate yourself to vengeance in its shadow. Sell it in Orsinium for all I care. But do it before the Hag Ravens read the entrails, or the Winterborn will come for you. Now to make a show of helping with the search. Hopefully we'll soon be gone, as should you be. Outsider, I bring a message from the king. King Kurog requests the honor of your presence, outsider. My beloved awaits your arrival at the keep, so do not linger. His dark mood is bad enough without you disappointing him as well. Of course I know what the king wants. He wants to see you immediately. Do you have any other pointless questions you'd like me to answer for you? Ah, outsider, my apologies. The king's mood has set everyone on edge. You could literally cut the tension in the court with a knife. And I fear it will get worse before it gets better. Go, talk to the king. Perhaps you can raise his low spirits. Go! Have you no sense of urgency? My beloved's mood has already grown dark. Don't add to his anger as well, outsider. Why? Why does the sun rise and fall each day? Why do the spring rains eventually free us from winter's icy grip? The king is angry, and like any force of nature, he refuses to be denied. Well, yes! Of course something did. Go and speak to the king, outsider. I prefer you hear the news from his mouth instead of from mine. What is it?
You bear the vengeful eye. I knew, because as soon as I saw you, Malakath whispered that I should kill you where you stand. Clearly a sign. I needed to see for myself, to watch you end it, to show Malakath we are not his playthings. Ha! That it was. Let Malakath gaze upon you. Let him see you are strong enough to deny the will of a Daedric prince. May he never forget. I return to my tribe. The Hagravens will sense their search as hopeless. Finally go home. I should think so. I never touched the relic. They won't know my part in this. Not once. The tribe is home. It's family. We have our differences, but I can't imagine abandoning them. Sometimes I wonder if the Hagravens take that from our thoughts. But not for long. Yes? What about it? Not exactly. It's harder than steel. Powerful distraction in a fight for those who think it a weakness. Unbearably. I often wake to buzzing and fluttering in my chest with the occasional nibbling. I have to jump into ice-cold water then wait for all the beetles to boil out of my chest. It's... unpleasant. 
It's no trouble. I get these questions all the time. Even in my own tribe. Huh. Who truly understands the mind of a Daedric prince? They care little for what we do. Even when it foils their schemes. For all we know, you've pleased him.
I smell something intriguing. Something interesting. Wait, no. Don't tell me. It smells like... It smells like... A dead bird. A bird curse. Very unusual. Very rare. But I have read about hag ravens inflicting such curses on innocent people. Hag ravens can be cruel and uncaring creatures. What a shame about the poor people that were transformed. Reverse the curse? What an intriguing concept. I don't know. There may be a way. There's a book around here somewhere that refers to such things. But breaking a curse requires specific ingredients. Would you be willing to obtain such items? Oh, just a few items related to the curse. Let me think. Ah, yes! A potion of feather plucking. I know Telonel has one. And an ancient wing bone. I saw one at Rosna's stall. Oh, almost forgot. A frozen egg. Nednor always has one lying around. Go on now. Hurry, hurry. Retrieve the potion and the wing bone. Oh, and the egg, of course. Mustn't forget the egg. I'll be upstairs researching the ritual. We'll conduct it up there when you return. Oh, yes, of course. I apologize. I often forget that not everyone knows as much as I do about so many interesting things. What do you want to know more about, hmm? A potion of feather plucking. The perfect concoction for quickly removing feathers from a chicken or other type of poultry. Even those burdened by a bird curse. Telonel in the alchemy shop is sure to have one. Tell her I said hello. An ancient wing bone, preferably from a prehistoric snow owl or an extinct flightless desert hawk. But any old bird will probably do. Rosna over in the marketplace is sure to have something we can use. Just remind her she owes me a favor. A frozen egg. Can't perform any ritual of consequence without one of Nednor's frozen eggs. And they taste so delicious. Utterly sublime. Nednor has a stall in the marketplace. Just tell him it's for me. I'm his best customer.